So this is um, another sort of best practice. When a, when a, a customer receives a new motor or you guys receive a new motor, um, just to make sure that nothing is um, uh, funny or if you guys get a motor back from the customer saying, oh, something's not working right, um, let's just make sure the motor is capable of running. Uh, and this is just the, about the simplest way of doing it. We're not doing closed loop. We're not looking at the encoder. We're not doing anything except powering up the windings. And, make, and as the hack will say repeatedly during the, um, during the institute, we're going to make the shaft go roundy roundy. Okay? Um, what we do is we, we, we're going to send a couple commands directly in the terminal. So just type them right up there at the top. Uh, first thing is an MT. That's Mary Thomas. If you can't read that. Uh, MT is mode torque. So what it does is it sets up the motor to do a torque move. Now, something to clarify about a torque move. A torque move is not a move that only references torque. A torque move is an open loop move. So it's not monitoring the uh, encoder. Um, so if you were to put your fingers on the shaft, put a load on the shaft, the motor's uh, speed will decrease. Think of it as more like a power move or a percentage of PWM uh, in one direction or the other. Uh, and that runs from negative 32767 to positive 32767. Um, so we're going to do an MT. We're going to set capital T equals 3,000. So we're going to be about not 10% of uh, max power. And we're going to issue a capital G. Now, as soon as you issue that capital G, the motor will start spinning. We're going to report uh, from the motor. So we're going to get the motor talking to us since we've talked to the motor. You can issue RTRQ, that's report torque. The motor will kick back a torque figure. It should be 3,000. Um, so that'll, uh, you know, right now we have a commanded torque, but in other modes where you've got a velocity move or a position move, uh, the, the applied torque to the motor will, of course, vary. You'll be able to pull how much torque the motor is actually initiating to the shaft. Um, from that, once again, that is a percentage that is not in um, physical units and that's not in ounce inches or newton meters or anything like that. It's strictly in percentage plus or minus negative uh, 99.9 .9 to positive 99.9 percent .9 of the available uh, torque. So actually, I think you'll get one less. If you do RTRQ, you should get 29.99, right? Yeah. Um, so um, we can also do a torque slope, and now by default the motor will basically initiate torque nearly instantaneously. The torque slope ranges from negative 1 to 2.1 billion. And 2.1 billion is the uh, default. So it basically goes, bam, full torque. Whatever I'm told to give torque, give it now. Um, but you can actually change that to be a, a kind of a smoother ramp up of torque if you want to do an open loop move. Uh, for example, maybe unwi uh, you know, re rewinding a tape. You don't necessarily care how fast it's going, but you don't want it to jerk. Um, just get it rewound as fast as possible in as smooth of a way as possible. A torque uh, ramp would work very, very well with that. And the scaling factor on that is um, for every 65, 536, that's a binary number. I don't remember where that comes from exactly. Uh, it'll change the torque value by a value of 1 for every PID sample rate. And the default sample rate in every motor is 8,000. Uh, it goes up to 16,000, goes down to 1,000, uh, I believe, 1 or 2,000, depending upon how low you want to set it. But default's 8,000. Um, so every one of those, and you can do R SAMP, R S A M P, uh, to kick back out of the motor what your actual sample rate is now. If you want to type that in the terminal, it should spit back 8,000. 